Good morning dear students. Welcome to the second session of your social studies class. In the previous session you had studied the first unit about history which deals with the past events. In the second unit we'll study about geography which deals about the earth, its physical features, the space and beyond. Well, today being the first class, I'll give you a brief introduction about the first chapter of geography that is the universe. The universe is where everyone and everything that exists from very big to very small. It is the whole of all forms of matter and energy and it includes the sun, the planets, the stars, the galaxies, dust clouds, etc. There are multiple theories on the origin of the universe, but the most widely accepted one is the Big Bang Theory. As per the theory, about 13 billion years ago, an explosion happened and the entire universe came out from a single point in which the total matter in space was initially concentrated. Due to this explosion, the matter flew in all the possible directions through space, leading to the formation of the sun, the moon, the stars and many many more objects which are now called as celestial bodies or heavenly bodies. The clusters or group of these celestial bodies, stars along with dust particles make a galaxy. Several millions of galaxy makes up the universe. The galaxy to which our solar system belongs is called Milky Way Galaxy or Akash Ganga. The branch of science that deals with the study of heavenly bodies like stars, planets, comets, etc. is called astronomy, whereas the branch of astronomy that deals with the origin or evolution of universe is called cosmology. Some of the famous cosmologists and astronomers are as follows. Copernicus, Isaac Newton, Kepler, Galileo, Stephen Hawking. The person who is specially trained to travel into outer space is called an astronaut. Some of the famous astronauts are Neil Armstrong, Aldrin Edwin, Sunita Williams, Kalpana Chawla. Let's quickly summarize what we have learned so far. The universe is the whole of all forms of matter and energy including the sun, the planets, the stars, the galaxies, etc. Second, there are multiple theories on the origin of the universe but the most accepted one is the Big Bang Theory. Any natural object which is located outside the Earth's atmosphere such as sun, moon, stars, planets, etc. are called celestial bodies or heavenly bodies. Number four, cluster or groups of celestial bodies, stars along with dust particles make a galaxy. Number fifth, several millions of galaxy makes up the universe. Sixth, the galaxy to which our solar system belongs is called Milky Way Galaxy or Akash Ganga. Number seven, the branch of science that deals with the study of heavenly bodies like stars, planets, comets, etc. is called astronomy. Whereas the branch of astronomy that deals with the origin or evolution of universe is called cosmology. So students, that's all for today. We'll see you in the next class.